And I think the best example a parent can be is by being a human being and by being honest and showing your humanness and being honest about your feelings and your emotions, um, which is something that's very hard to do. You want to be perfect for your kids. And I think that's a mistake because nobody's perfect and the kid isn't either. And if they see these two perfect people as their parents, they're going to think that they're weird and that they're a freak mm. and that they're imperfect mm. when they're only human. Is there a lot of humor in your house? No, it's dead serious. Is it dead serious? Yeah. I thought it might be. Yeah. No, no yeah. laughing. I have a None. big sign yeah. with like a smile and a cross through it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no one's, no one, no, it's not allowed. Uh, no fun. Uh, <laughs> where are you next? I mean, what, what's, what's in the future? I'm working with the band. We're trying to get a record deal. Are you? Yeah, please. <laughs> yes, thank God. Everybody it's tries hard. It's really, it it's, yeah, it's difficult. It's like starting all over again, which is great. I love it. Uh, we've been rehearsing and practicing and learning the songs and... And it's, uh, it's really exciting. Now, your mom is single again. Your parents got divorced. And you're dating. I heard you double date? W well, we, we have in the past. Uh, so what's that like? <laughs> it's fun. I, you know, uh, I'm always curious to see who she'll, who she'll who drag she'll up drag next. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't, you know, I... I appreciate it if she keeps her opinions to herself, unless they're positive, and, and I do the same thing. With, so, sometimes I'm really glad when there isn't a second date with one of them. I'll go, boy, Mom, I'm glad you Does didn't go out. Does she feel that way about the ones you drag in? Um, Probably. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got pretty good taste. <laughs> I <laughs> think your mother. The two of you are working on a book together. Yes, we are. Now, what's that about? That's about communication and just what I was uh, saying to you about honesty and growing up and mother-daughter relationships and you know, God's nasty trick and all of that. You're busy. You're very busy. New yeah. life for you. Yeah. That's great. What do you think is the best thing that you've learned throughout all of this? Keep fighting. You know, I just keep fighting. I keep finding new things. I think life is terrific. You know, I keep finding new things to get into and, and I mean, it's gotten to be a joke, you know, sometimes for, and, and you do this and you do that and you, but I can't get enough and I'm having a great time and, and, uh, if there's some, you know, a lot of kids come to me and they say, well, I don't know what I want to do with my life. And is that really terrible? And I don't think it is. You know, I think yeah. you just, you keep running around and doing whatever. And as long as it's healthy and it doesn't hurt anybody, eventually you find where you need to go. And I just, I have a lot of different roads that I like to travel. Keep you well, on we're a good glad road. you came here. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Let us know. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Well, keep your shirts on. We'll show you how to collar his cuffs when we return.